Hello learners, we will talk about various social personal issues which can affect the human development today in this lesson. I am Dr. Anjana Agarwal who is going to talk about concerns and issues in human development. These issues can be the child labor, juvenile delinquencies, discrimination against girl child, mental retardation and various others. First we will talk about discrimination against girl child. In India, we have seen that people prefer the boys. The family is very happy when a boy child takes birth in the family. When the girl's child takes the birth, then the whole scenario is totally different. Why it is so? It is still doubtful and has not been solved yet. But what do you mean by discrimination? In what ways the girls are getting discriminated from the boys? They are treated as unwanted child in the family. They are not given the enough opportunities for education. They are denied for education. They need to have a good nutrition, but they are not given enough food to eat. So there is inadequate food and nutrition, which they require the most in different developmental cycles. They are also not given proper health care when they are sick. So, they are also denied the basic health facilities. So, the role of education for these girls is very, very important. If these girls child are given the opportunity to learn, to go to the school, so their development will be totally different. We have the forum Beti Parhao. That means, you need to create the awareness about the rights and responsibilities among girls. They should go to the school. Later on, they can have the financial independence. They can earn their own money. They can save their own money. So, they will be more independent. By this, you will make them more confident. Mothers can also look after their children in their studies and other need. See in this picture, the mother is handling the computer and teaching her young girls through this. So, she is making aware rather than making the discrimination in the child. So, this is the way we have to deal with the young girls. You need to provide the opportunities in different walks of life. So, the today girls are in all aspects of life going up, taking strides. So, if you are providing the opportunities to them, they can walk. Help in providing more meaningful solutions to their everyday problems. They may have variety of problems, personal, social, psychological and many others. And even during sickness, they need the help of the doctor. Now we will talk about juvenile delinquency. In this picture you can see different issues or different stages. In the beginning the child may start fighting with the others. They may indulge in various kinds of wrong activities and then it may turn into the crime. What do we mean by juvenile delinquency? It means the act of violation of laws by children below 18 years of age. Juvenile word implies to a young person or such adolescents involved in unlawful activities are referred as juvenile delinquents. Primarily it is a habitual committing of criminal acts or offenses by the young person or a child participating in unlawful behavior 
minor word comes here when we are using the word juvenile. In 2015, there is a change in the law. Now this law says under Care and Protection of Children Act 2015, juvenile justice allows for juveniles 16 years or older to be tried as adults for heinous offenses like murder or rape. When heinous offenses are committed, what is heinous? Heinous offenses are those which are punishable with imprisonment of 7 years or more. As I gave you the example of heinous crime like murder. What are the causes? Why is, when the children are supposed to play and enjoy, why they become delinquent? Maybe because of poverty and hunger, feeling of insecurity in them in unstable families. So that means family violence or family unstability counts a lot in the development of the children there. Poor parental supervision. Parents are busy with their affairs, earning money for them, but they are not able to supervise them because children are in their growing age. Repeated exposure to violence and drugs. They are trapped in the bad company or their peer group is of criminal nature. All the such things are the causes to become a child as a delinquent, jubilant delinquent. Psychological problems can also be there. What is the solution? There can be some solution. If we look into the matter, there are remedial and preventive measures. First, providing various poverty removal programs so that they can fulfill their basic needs like food, shelter and clothing and education. This is the need of a child to live on, to grow and develop. If it is not fulfilled, the child may take any kind of pathway. Active participation and supervision of parents in the child's life or children's life is very, very essential. The parents or guardians or wherever they are, they have to supervise them, counsel them. You need to provide the recreational facilities also. Guidance and counseling during conflict with the law or in need of care and protection, it is very, very essential. Special guidance may also be required. Who need the care and support? A child in conflict with law means someone who has committed an offense. Children in need of care and protection are those who may are orphaned or abandoned, maybe street children, missing or runaway children from home, abused or neglected one. These are the categories of the children who really need the care, protection, counseling and guidance. If they are not given what can happen, they can be indulged by force or by choice into the child labor. See many pictures, all are young girls and boys indulged in various activities not suited to their age. Who is a child labor? A child who is below 14 years of age and engaged in work to earn a living is called a child laborer. What are the causes? Again, poverty is one of the major causes of child labor. Orphaned, abundant or rejected children, sometimes because they are young, so their hands are very flexible, soft and they have nimble fingers, keen eyesight which can be assets 
in various craft work for example carpet weaving they can do very fine work see the children are doing the labor one is in industry and one is in restaurant so demand for such labor is very cheap silent and they do not complain they just get the food or may not get the food so they do not still co complain and that is why the child labor is still going on what can be the consequences heavy work for long hours may be 12 to 16 hours in uncomfortable body positions may cause permanent disability if they are sitting like this doing this work for long and long hours with food without food it can really damage because this age is for the growth and development working in unhygienic conditions can lead them to infectious diseases health problem and sometime even death there is a loss of childhood opportunities to play learn and develop as a healthy individual they are not allowed to go to the school so there is a denial of schooling and education and that add to the number of illiterate in the country how to deal with them what is the solution so one need to make the provisions for non formal education making people aware about negative consequences of child labor they should be provided with the medical facilities and regular health checkup they should be provided the safe environment and lesser or fewer working hours now we are talking about socio economic disadvantaged children they are underprivileged children they can work as a road workers see this picture what comes in your mind in your heart is it right to have such children on the road doing the work for their own living parents fail to provide the adequate facilities as i told you basic facility of food clothing and shelter is not given to them for their proper physical mental social and emotional development there may be various reasons for this kind of stage but this affects the development of them how to help them provide education give them incentives like free books stationery uniforms scholarships and midday meals in schools provide them vocational training and provide guidance and counseling to deal with different issues of life now we will talk about disability disability can be of various types it can be orthopedic when some organ or physical organ particularly walking is hampered for various reason it can be due to accident it can be due to some other medical reasons disability is an umbrella term covering all types of impairments activity limitations and participation restrictions when we are using the word impairment impairment is a problem in body function or structure for example visually impaired that means the person is not able to see an activity limitation means is a difficulty encountered by the individual in executing a task or action participation restriction is a problem experienced by an individual in involvement in life situations what should we do what can be the possible interventions early assessment of children for any kind of impairment is very necessary and will help 
to find the ways to sort it out or take care of it and train the child to handle such impairment. Remove social barriers like stereotyping, name calling, prejudice, etc. We should never call a person or do not give any nickname with the disability kind to any kind of person. Remove all environmental barriers and we should provide the easy access for public utilities on roads, transport, library, etc. You can see this picture and these persons are also referred as PWDs. So, in a place the ramps are provided for them, so they can walk there or they can take their wheelchair on them very easily if they are not able to climb the stairs. Recently in some of the railway stations, tactile paving is provided. So, this yellow strip you are seeing here is a little bulged or little erected so that they can touch with their stick and walk along with that. They also need the medical facilities and like normal human beings, they also need the love, care and help. So, give them love, care, help and encourage them to develop the skills. Inclusive education for children with special needs is very essential and our institutes NIOS or National Institute of Open Schooling is doing this for the children with special needs. Facilities like Braille, Braille is a language given for the blind or visually impaired people who can use their fingers with the textile. So, there is a little bit of they can touch the rough surface and find out what is written there that is called braille for visually impaired. Those who cannot walk, they can be provided various kinds of support for walking or doing any kind of activity. Now, we will talk about the mental retardation. The reason for mental retardation can be from the birth, we also use the word congenital or by various kind of deficiencies like iodine deficiencies or many other psychological or social problems, the person or the child can be mentally retarded. And now instead of mental retardation, we also use the word intellectual disability. Intellectual disability or ID is characterized by significant impairment in cognitive and adaptive behavior. A child with intellectual disability learns things at a slower rate than other children of the same age. Nothing wrong in it. As I told you, it can be present at birth or occurring after birth, may be due to infection, lack of oxygen to the brain. It can be due to chromosomal abnormalities like Down syndrome or some kind of nutritional deficiencies like iodine deficiencies or overall malnutrition. Environmental problems can also cause intellectual deficit, may be due to the pesticides, exposure to alcohol during pregnancy, cocaine or other drugs. There can be injury to the brain during accidents. And nowadays we can also increase lot of problems due to the environment that can be the radiation, that can be the use of many other toxic fumes which are coming or pollution which can cause the mental retardation. There may be some unexplained reasons, doctors even do not know the reason for personal 
intellectual deficits. They can also have some better placement in personal life, family life or social life. What they need some intervention from various corners. They can also develop their potential to the fullest. Guide them to learn self-help skill. For example, toilet training, dressing, undressing themselves, eating properly, sharing things with others and follow simple directions. Other inter interventions can be involving them in simple household tasks like cooking, housekeeping, etc. according to their abilities that is very, very important. And keeping the guidance, counseling and watching is also important at this stage. Provide education in a special and inclusive schools and provide vocational training in whatever they are interested and whatever they can do it. Here are some examples for vocational training like block printing, carpentry, etc. Besides that, healthcare and education is very, very important. In this lesson, you have studied various concerns and issues in human development which can be the from the sources of society, environment and lack of provisions for the basic needs is very much there and if there are such things there are various solutions also, there are various interventions possible. So, as a human being also we must be very careful to extend the hand of health to them. Thank you so much.